Hi there, and welcome to the Adventures with Jesus Today podcast. I'm your host, Lisa Van Berg, and today we're going to be talking about God repays the seeds you plant. A friend of mine said to me the other day, Hey, Lisa, will you please pray that people don't take advantage of my kindness? And first of all, it just struck my heart that this person would actually ask me to pray that way because their kindness had obviously been taken advantage of or they felt so, right? And so I mulled this over for a good couple of days and just said to the Lord, Lord, what's going on here? What's what's behind this? What do you think about kindness? What do you think about kindness being taken advantage of? Because let's be honest, it's it's something we may all have thought during our lives or we've heard it from someone. It's like, oh, you can't be too kind because someone's going to walk over you. You're going to be a doormat. Are they going to take advantage of you? Right? And so this doesn't seem to be the truth of what God would say. So I was just talking to him about it. I said, Lord, will you show me a little bit more about this? And the first thing he revealed to me is actually that kindness is a fruit of the Spirit. So I'm just going to take this example of kindness all the way through this podcast episode, but it can be applied to any of the fruit of the Spirit, right? So when we operate in the fruit of the Spirit, it's actually the Holy Spirit kindness, his nature, his character, him being kind. He is kind. And the fruit of the Spirit is him operating through us. So it's not us trying to work up kindness. It's not us trying to be kind. It's actually letting the kindness of who the Holy Spirit is come out of us, to ourselves, to others around us, And it's actually initiated by him and flows through us. That right there is such a massive revelation because we often think that we have to work up the fruit of the Spirit. We've got to be good to people and we've got to persevere and we've got to have self-control. And it's all this effort thinking. And actually that's completely incorrect. The fruit of the Spirit is the nature and character of the Holy Spirit that is shown through us when we let that happen. Right? So first of all, we can be kind because it's the Holy Spirit that enables us to do so. Second of all, when we sow any seed, any any seed, then God promises harvest will come, right? Seed, time, and harvest, either 30, 60, or a hundredfold. And so as my husband Franz and I were talking this through, we were just Uh, thinking it through with the Lord and realize that when you plant the seed of kindness, God is the one who will bring the harvest, right? Which means that we can actively go around, not just being kind for kindness' sake, but as we let the fruit of the Spirit, as we let the fruit of the Holy Spirit of kindness come out of us and it begins to be planted as seed, and we see it as seed being planted, then God is responsible for the harvest that comes back. Right? And then the third piece is, Bronze looked at me and he said, Lisa, that's why the enemy is so intent on getting us to say that phrase, oh, let people not take advantage of my kindness, because he knows the power of kindness in somebody's life. He knows that when the seed of kindness is planted in a situation when you hold the door open for an elderly person, when you say thank you and please, when you acknowledge something somebody's done, when you're completely kind, even though the person has not been kind to you, when a neighbor is ill and you take them some food, when you help help a child or a teenager to finish a project for school, all the hundreds and hundreds of ways that we can be kind to each other, taking a moment to sit and listen to somebody else, encouraging somebody else. All of these seeds of kindness can actually be planted in anybody's life. And because we are programmed and we delight in receiving the gifts of the Spirit, kindness always, always, always achieves something beautiful in the giver's life and in the receiver's life. And so Franz looked at me and said, Lisa, that's why the enemy will try so hard to get us to not plant the seeds of kindness because he doesn't want us or the person that's receiving the kindness to reap any of the harvest, any of the goodness of God through acts of kindness. 
Doesn't that just blow your mind? So it means that any of the any of any righteous fruits, anything that's from God, love, kindness, goodness, patience, perseverance, self control, um, all of these fruit, when we sow them, imagine a piece of fruit. If I take an apple and I sow it, apple's got a couple of seeds in it, right? If I planted that in the ground and I took each one of those seeds, they could each produce an entire apple tree with apples on the apple tree with their own seeds in the apples. So one seed can produce an entire tree that produces multiple fruits for multiple years from one seed. That is the power of kindness. And that's why the enemy tries to get us to not be kind, to not be good to one another, to not be patient with one another. Because he doesn't want the beautiful fruit that God produces from these things to come into people's lives. So I want to encourage you today that whatever fruit of the Spirit you get to um, employ, you get to use, you get to be part of, because it's the Holy Spirit's nature and character in you, do it. Do it. Every opportunity to be good, every opportunity to be kind, every opportunity to persevere with Him, which literally means just walking through situations with God. Every time you have the opportunity to exercise self-control and say, Lord, ah, I'm looking to you and not to the situation. There are beautiful opportunities to sow seed, not only in yourself, but in others around you and see what God can do. And so Franz ended our discussion time by saying this. He said, so Lisa, it is not possible for kindness to be taken advantage of because God is the one who repays kindness. God is the one who sees when we are kind to somebody else, kind to ourselves, kind to those around us, kind to strangers, kind to those we know, friends, loved ones, colleagues. When God sees our kindness, he is the one that brings the harvest. He is the one that makes sure that that kindness works. And all we get to do is sow the seed and then the enemy is completely uh, flawed because he was trying to get us to not sow the seed, but we did it anyway. (laughs) That's the cool thing. And that so delights God's heart that he will absolutely bring a harvest of kindness in your life for giving it and in the receiver's life for receiving it. Mm. So, so good. So go on an adventure with him and say, okay, Lord, what does this look like with each of the fruit of the Spirit? What does this look like when we're good to each other, when we're kind to each other, when we love each other, when we sow hope and faith, all of the beautiful things that we get to experience our souls from God and then sow into others' lives too. Hmm. So as always, this is the adventure that Jesus is inviting you on today. Will you accept? Come across and visit us at thewaysofwisdom.com. We just love hearing from you, hearing your stories. Please go and rate this podcast wherever you listen to it and share it so that we can send hope and love and encouragement around the world. Bless you guys.